Let's start the class. Okay. Let me just turn my phone off on silent. And let's begin. So we're going to start sitting. You can sit on a block if you like. You will be needing blocks during the class. Um, and probably a strap you may need. A uh, little blanket to do your head balances. And let's get going. It's really a nice class. It's a nice hatha class. We'll start in Sukhasana. So one heel in front of the other. Palms facing up. And shoulders back and down. So just getting yourself nice and ready. Let's close our eyes and focus on your breath. So as you do that, nice deep inhale. Inhaling, pushing your belly out like a big balloon. Exhaling, allowing your navel to work towards the spine. So just focusing on that breath, setting your intention for today's class. Nice deep breathing. So we're working with the skin because the skin is a great tool for awareness. And the skin can teach you many things about your body. So how it moves over the body, when your hands touch together, when your feet are on the floor, feel how the skin moves, feel how it stretches along your shoulder blades, all the movements of the skin. Drop your chin down towards your chest. A little saying for today. When you're comfortable in your own skin, you're beautiful. Confidence is the best makeup you could ever wear. And slowly begin to open up your eyes. Draw your eyes along the floor until your chin is parallel. Bring your palms together. Welcome to yoga, everybody. Let's take our arms up to the side. Big inhale, lift up nice and tall. And exhale all the way down. Up we go once again. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Let's change the cross of our legs to our unnatural cross. And then slowly taking down your right hand to the floor, stretching over to the right, extend. And then slowly turning yourself to look up to the ceiling. So you're opening up those intercostals. Let's work over to the left side, big stretch. Extend. And then a slight twist to look up. And up you come. Beautiful. All right. We're going to take your right foot. So grabbing your right foot. Holding at the, an at the ankle. At the knee ankle. <laughs> holding at the ankle. Let's do some nice big circles. So circling it one way. If it clicks, just ignore it. I'm so glad I can't hear anybody's clicking. I can't take that. And let's turn the other way. So opposite direction. And now we're going to work our knee into a baby. So placing your foot into your elbow, holding onto that knee and just doing a little rock me baby movement. So giving your knee a nice rock side to side we're working to Ardha Padmasana our half lotus so bringing that foot in slightly and placing down that knee on top try and get as parallel to the size of the mat as you can placing that knee down sitting up nice and tall if this is as much as you can do that's fine if you want to go into the full Padmasana you can bring your other foot on top and work into a full lotus. Try and squash those feet down even and just try and work as much as you can down to the floor. So sitting up nice and tall, let's take our right hand in front of you, left hand behind you. As you inhale up, exhale, twist, looking over the back shoulder. Hold it there, just twist. Feel how the skin stretches along your back and as you extend. Slowly coming back to the front, placing your left hand in front, right hand behind as you inhale, lift up, exhale, twist. And slowly back to the front. Releasing your legs. Let's work with the left foot. 
So you're going to take hold of the left leg and then left foot, you're just going to try and work around in nice big circles. I'm trying not to listen to the clicks that I've got going on here. It's like a band playing. I don't like that. It's very naughty. All right, let's change directions. Hopefully it won't make so many clicks. All right, then let's go into baby mode. So placing that foot into the elbow, holding onto that knee, sitting up very tall, and let's just give it a rock me baby movement. And from there, let's try and work into Ardha Padmasana. So you bring in your right foot, left one's going on top. Again, we're trying to get a nice parallel work. And if you can, work into a full one. See how it feels, otherwise stay exactly where you are. Don't over push the body. Placing those feet down, sitting up tall. If you really wanna work into it, you can always cross the hands behind and try and work towards the feet. So nice stretch into the, the full body. And let's release, placing down your right hand in front, left hand behind, have another little twist. So inhale up, exhale, twist. Stretch it, stretch it. And slowly turning straight over to the other side. Left hand in front, right hand behind, inhale up, exhale, twist. And coming back to the front. Let's release those legs. You're going to go onto your hands and knees. So onto your hands and knees, make sure that your hands are directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're just going to release the shoulders a little bit. So I want you to take your right arm up to the ceiling, big stretch, and thread it underneath the left arm, taking it down, dropping your head to the floor. Lifting up the left hand up to the ceiling, relaxing your head down. Take your left arm as much over as you can and then work it in where you can. So if you can take it into that left hip, work it there, push the shoulder back, just relax there. If this is enough for you, that's fine. If you can work a little bit more, I'd like you to take out your left foot out to your right hand and open up a little bit more. So you can really open the shoulder up to the side and have a good stretch. Just breathing into it. Obviously you don't have to come all the way to this extreme. You could just be at the first little part where you just lift it up your arm and hang up there for a bit. Then slowly you're gonna bring that knee back in you lift up that left hand, place it down, and let's come back onto all fours. All right, let's work to the other side. Left arm up to the ceiling, taking it underneath the right, dropping it down, drop your head down. So obviously, again, you can just stop right here if this is enough for you. If you can take it further, taking it all the way to your back, inner thigh, opening up. And if you want to take it a little bit further than that, you're welcome to take out your right foot to your left hand and really open up. Make sure you're breathing in the pose and feeling how the skin is stretching over the shoulder blades, around the muscles in the arms, your biceps, your triceps, how you're extending into the heel, just a big stretch. And then slowly bringing back that right knee, lifting up that right arm, hand to the floor, and up you come. All right, from there, we're just gonna step our hands, one hand step forward, tuck your toes under, and let's go into our downwards facing dog. So just stretching it out, walk out the doggy, take it for a little walk, Release your head, 
You can turn your head side to side and up and down. So very good stretch. All right, just extend. Looking at your hands, I want you to walk your feet towards your hands. When you're all the way there, you can't touch the floor, your hands on your shins, but make sure you're bunning bones together, your ankles apart, sides of your feet are parallel to the edges of the mat, and push your hips right forward, so you've got a nice straight line from the buttocks to the ankles. Release the head down as much as you can. Uttanasana, forward bend. Place your hands into prayer position. Roll the shoulders and lengthen through the spine. We're going to come up all the way, all the way to standing, into Tadasana. Udvahasa, taking your arms up over your head, big stretch. Lengthen. And then slowly open the arms out to the side. Big stretch. Fingers down to the floor. Shoulders back and down, stretching into those fingers. Lift up your toes. And place down your toes one at a time. Baby, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Make space between each toe if you can. Pushing your hips slightly forward up onto the toes. Hold it here for a moment. And then slowly coming down. All right. We're going to our head balance. You're going to Sir Sasana, our head balance. Obviously, if you're menstruating or have problems with your neck or your uh, back, you're not going to go into your hip band. You should do a dolphin or a um, down dog. So just to show you which one it is. So remember your elbows directly underneath the shoulders, hands to pray, fingers in, tuck the baby fingers, thumbs up, make sure you've got a little space for an egg. Head down into bed, brace the shoulders, and then slowly, hopefully you work against the wall or you can lift up, working up into your uh, head balance. Hold it here as long as you can, toes together, heels out, as if you're standing on the floor. And you hold it for here, here as long as you possibly can. When you come down, you come down very slowly. I'm sort of come to see how you're all doing. Nice. I see I've lost a couple of people, but that's okay. Or their, um, their sight, is, I mean, their screens are off. That's also fine. Sometimes the bandwidth is taken a lot in the screen, in the video. But you can just turn on to hearing me and I can't see you, but it's absolutely fine. You're looking fantastic. Deeds will work on getting you away from the wall, but you're looking incredible. Now it's come down, Taz, but not a, not a problem. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. But so graciously, let me tell you, so graciously. Beautiful. Sometimes a good day, sometimes not such a great day. It happens. 
It's nothing personal. It's just the way it is. Very nice, Kat. Nice, next. Beautiful stuff. There we go. And we can all start coming down. Slowly making your way down. And you know, just once you're down, let's make sure that you rest for a moment, two fists on top of your of one another and release your head. Just allowing the heart not to work so hard. So it's a nice balanced position. It doesn't have to pump very hard. And then let's go into a down dog. Stretch the arms out, tap the toes, and up you go. Stretch it and lengthen. Sorry, I see a mozzie. I missed the mozzie. Okay, we're going to walk our feet all the way to the top of the mat. Okay, bunion bones together, hands to pray, and up you come. Stay nice and tall, the legs work into some sun salutations. We're going to do quite a few rounds, do the best you can. If you need to drop your knees, you're welcome to drop your knees. So let's stretch up nice and straight. And then swan dive all the way. Hands stretch as far as you can possibly go. Hands to the side. Bend your knees if necessary. Inhale, look up. Step back, right leg. Opening up, flatten hands. Left leg, plank. Chaturanga. Drop your knees if you need to. Over the toes. Ojo Mukha up. Into Adho Mukha, Shvanasana, your down dog. Look at the hands, right foot steps forward. Left foot steps forward, hands to pray, up we go, big stretch. Coming down, hands front, hands to the side, inhale, left back, right back, down we go. Over the toes, up we come, into a down dog, stretch out. Left foot forward, right foot forward, hands to pray, up we go. Coming down, hands front, hands side, inhale, right back, left back, down, over the toes up, down dog, left forward, oh sorry, right forward, <laughs> left forward, pray, up, go into the left side, hands front, hands side, inhale, left back, right back, down, down dog, left forward, right forward, pray, up we go, hands front, hands side, inhale, right, left, down, up, down dog, right forward, left forward, pray, up we go, front, side, inhale, left, Right, down, up, down dog, left, right, pray, up, that's three rounds, let's try and do eight, coming down, front, side, inhale, right, left, down, up, down dog, right forward, left forward, pray, up, Hands front, side, inhale, left, right, down, up, down, up, 
left, right, pray, up, that's four, hands front, hand side, inhale, right, left, down, up, down, down, right, left, pray, up, four and a half, front, side, inhale, left, right, down, up, down, down, left, right, pray, up we go for five, down we come, hands front, hands side, inhale, right, left, down, up, down, down, right, left, pray, up we go, five and a half, front, side, inhale, left, right, down, up, down, down, left, right, pray, up for six, let's just raise a little bit harder, let's start jumping, front, side, inhale, jump, down, up, down, down, jumping forward, pray, up we go, coming down, hand side, inhale, jump, down, up, down, forward, pray, that's seven, this last round I want double push-ups, let's go, hands front, side, inhale, jump, down, up, back down, up we go, jumping forward, pray, nicely up, forward, side, inhale, jump, down, up, back down, back, forward, pray, up, hands to your heart. Well done, everybody. Okay, grab your blocks. We're going to play some back of the mat. Okay, so you're going to have two blocks, the back of your mat. And we jump on inner leg distance. So inner leg distance is literally, if I cut off here and drop that down, you'll see there's a perfect inner leg. So that's the size. Okay, from there, you tucked in. <laughs> All right. Stretch the arms out. Armpits to fingertips. We extend as much as you can. We're going to take out our right foot to 90. Left foot into 60. And then move the hips back to the front of the mat so they're parallel. We'll kick a tree on a sana. Stretching over as far as you can go to the right. Stretch. Bringing that hand down. Use your blocks if you need or you can. Placing that hand down. Look down first, chin along chest. Look up at the top hand. If you close your left eye, you'll see your left thumb. Then you know you're straight. You want to be like a piece of toast in a toaster. So you want to be nicely lined up. The easiest way is to push your hips um, forward, your shoulders back. So shoulders are back, hips are forward. Get nice and straight and line yourself up. Don't be leaning so hard on this hand. This hand is actually just there. So it's really just light over there. If your neck is sore, you can look down. Great for poise, great for balance, and obviously great for the lungs. You don't want to be up here. You want to be just relaxed into it. Hold and extend. Nice deep breathing. Tighten core, tighten thighs, up you come. Both feet facing forward, parallel. Keep the arms up, keep stretching. Let's take the left foot to 90. Right foot into 60. And move the hips back to the front. We're working over to the left side, so extend as far as you can go. 
Now, slowly bringing the hand down. Look down. Oh, I missed it. Look down, take your chin on your chest. Looking up, close your right hand eye, you'll see your right thumb. And that's where you remain. Keep lengthening, allow the skull bone to challenge the tailbone. So you want to have that nice stretch. Feel how the skin is stretching all the way from the top to the bottom and from your tailbone all the way down those triangles. So there's your nice triangle. Keep stretching into it and hold. Obviously, if you next saw, you're going to look down. Just hold and breathe. Lovely. Tighten thighs, tighten core. Up you come. Feet facing forward. We're working to Utita, Kaz Vakonasana. So we want to open up our feet to outer leg distance. So we want them underneath the hands or the wrists. So it's quite a far away. So if I cut off here at my waist, that's how long the leg distance would be. Much longer. So open up wide. A little wider. A little wider. There we go. Okay, <laughs> right foot to 90, left foot into 60, hips back to the front. We're working to Vibhagrasana 2 first, our warrior 2. So bending that knee. You don't want the knee to go over the ankle, but you do want to get yourself parallel here. So try and get yourself there, correct? Then lift up that inner ankle. So you want to lift up and push down the baby toe side of the left foot. Pull up through the core, tilt the pelvis forward. Keep pushing. You want to feel the skin, how it actually has to wrap around that foot. Lift up tall, look over your right side. Stretch back so you're not here. You're pulling yourself back, drop down a little bit more. Hold it there. Feel the dress in the two. Keep holding, keep breathing. Make sure the thigh is parallel to the floor. Make sure the knee is above the ankle. Make sure that ankle is up. Now slowly, you're going to take down your right hand, baby toe side. If you need a block, place your hand on the block. Left hand onto your waist. Open the shoulders. Now push that knee into the armpit. So you're nice and straight here. Once you've got that, hand to your ear. So you're opening a little bit more. Keep pushing down, baby toe side on the left. And now stretch that arm so there's a straight line from your fingertips down to that heel. If I drop some water, it will just run down the body. The stretch up and don't close the face. We want to open that face as much as possible so the arm is going behind. It's like kind of framing the face behind. This hand is also very light. So it's not heavy on the floor. And we hold and you breathe. Look up if you can. Smell the armpit. Nice, very nice. Actually, not really. Hold and breathe. So from here, we want to go back into Vibhadrasana 2. So come up, half. Hold it. Three, two, one. Up you come. Both feet facing forward. Let's go to the other side. So left foot to 90. Right foot into 60. And hips back to the front. Stretch those arms, keep the arms up and work the arms too. Feel the skin working through the shoulders all the way to the fingertips. And then start to bend your left knee. Parallel, get it parallel, make sure the knees above the ankle, otherwise move that foot slightly. Let's lift up that ankle bone. So pull it up. Open up, you're not here. You're straightening up. Pelvis is pulling forward to tilt. Look over that left hand. Hold it here and breathe. Nice deep breathing. You're not a warrior, you're a warrior. Does it make sense? Yes, you know what I mean. So as if you were fencing. Okay, hold it. Nice deep breathing. Let's take down the left hand, baby toe side. 
Use your block if you need it. Right hand onto your waist. Open up the shoulders. Keep opening. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift up the baby toe of the side. I mean, the push down the baby toe side of the right foot. Hand to the ear. Open up a little bit more. Now let's stretch up. Behind the ear if you can. Extend, straighten up. Nice long line here, everyone. Big long line. Making sure the knees are still above the ankle and the knee is pushing into the armpit. Hold, look up. Breathe. Let's work back into warrior two. Up, you can hold. Make sure you're nice and straight. Three, two, one, up you come, feet forward. Beautiful, keep the arms there, heel toe into your inner leg distance. And then you can release the arms to place your blocks at the end of the mat. Arms back up. <laughs> Just wait for you here. So we're working to Ardha Chandasana, our half moon. You can work with your blocks. You can work without your blocks. I prefer without, but I'll move my blocks and do it with you um, as we go. So your inner leg distance, arms are out. To begin with, we work into Uttita Tri Konasana, and then we work out into Ardha um, Chandasana. You have to be straight and flat. So the whole idea of this pose is to make sure your hips are stacked as well as the shoulders. You're not leaning into it. You're making sure you're opening up the whole time. So from here, I want you to turn out your right foot to 90. That foot must not move. It mustn't turn slightly in. Keep focus on keeping it at 90 degrees. Left foot into 60. Hip square again. We're working over to the right side. Now slowly bringing that hand down. No blocks here, just hand onto your shin. Okay, I'm not gonna ask you to look up, I'm gonna ask you to look straight at me. Now bend your right knee. As you do that, I want you to step closer with the left, so you're closer. Now take hold of your block. Don't look at your block, look at me. I'm gonna move my block at the way, I'm gonna grab the floor. <laughs> okay, now keeping my hips open, everything's completely open. Shoulders are still stacked. You push back into the back foot. My, this front right foot does not move. All I do is I go forward and I push into that heel. Flex the heel and push into it. The more you push into it, the easier it is to even come up off the floor. So find your balance, push into that. If you've got great balance, you can even look up. Let's hold here for a little bit. Hold and breathe. Flexing that foot, opening up. My shoulders are open, my hips are open. To slowly come out of it, you're gonna bend your right, place down the left, bring your hand back. Uttita Tri Konasana, opening up. And up you come. Beautiful, well done. Both feet facing forward. Let's work to the other side. So left foot to 90, right foot into 60, hip square with the front. And let's extend over all the way, coming down, keep looking at me. If you advance, you look up. I don't want you looking at the floor if you're not advanced or if you think you're not great, you still look at me. Bend that knee, step closer, find your block, don't look at it. I'm just moving it. All right. Now keep this foot straight. Don't let it move. And up you go. Flex the back heel. Once you've got that, try and push that heel back a little bit so you get some more balance. Try and lift up a little bit. If you're doing well, you try and look up a little bit. Hold it there. Breathe into it. Flex that back foot. Open the hips a little bit more. Open the shoulders. Hold it. 
We're going to slowly come down. So bend the knee, foot down, bring the hand back. Now you can look up or take a tree corner center. And up we come. Both feet facing forward. All right, I want you to bring the feet slightly in, just slightly, slightly, slightly. All right, because it's going to be too hard to do the full foot out. Slightly in. I want you to keep your arms out. You need to take the right foot onto the heel of the right, turn it out. Onto the toes of the left and turn completely. Place the heel down. Now, if this is too far apart for you, you can bring the back foot forward. But either way, I want you to have both feet facing forward. So no matter what, both feet are facing forward. Your hips are nice and square. You're going to focus on pulling forward with that left hip, okay? And the right hip is going back. So left hip forward, right hip back. Beautiful. From there, your arms are out to the side. You're going to bring them behind you. Either you should not hold into the elbows, or if you can, go into a prayer position, placing a prayer behind your back. Make sure the hips are square. Keep pushing them square. Look at the back foot. Make sure that that's, front, that's facing forward. It's a balance. Open the chest. Pavottanasana. And lengthen forward. Straight back. Keep extending through your head. Extend forward through the lumbar spine. Pray for correcting shoulders as you extend, stretch. Keep making sure that your hips are nice and square. The butt up is straight. Propel the trunk forward and lengthen. Don't arch with the back. Work to your maximum. No rounding, just straight. Hold it. Now to come out, you're going to go on your heel of your right and the toes of the left to come forward. Okay, hold it there. Facing me, up you come all the way. If your hands are holding your elbows, change the grip of your elbows. Otherwise, if your hands are still in prayer, leave them there. We're going to work to the other side. So, heel of the left foot, place down. Toes of the right, up and down. Make sure the hips are nice and square once again. So again, you're pulling back your left hip. You're pushing forward with your right. Okay, hips are nice and square. Shoulders back. Open through the chest. And let's start to lengthen as we extend forward. Stretching and lengthening through the spine. Big stretch. Work into it. Keep looking forward so the back is nice and straight and flat. And just work to your maximum. Both legs must be straight. And both feet must be straight. Let's work back to the front. So heel of the left, toes of the right. Coming back to the front. And up we come. Wonderful. Release the arms and just roll the shoulders out. And you can roll them forward. Beautiful stuff. All right. And then heel toe your feet together. Standing nicely in Tadasana. Working to um, Uttanasana. So bring the arms up, stretch. Work into a nice forward bend, extend, stretching forward as far as you can go. If you need blocks, you place your hands on blocks. If you can get to the floor, that's great. Lengthen through the spine. If you can get past your hands onto the floor, if you can get past the feet further back, release the head and just work forward. Big stretch. Then slowly bring your palms together, roll the shoulders back, lengthen through the spine, up you come. Okay, so we're going to work with your strap. So grab your strap. We're working to Ada Bada Pashimutanasana. 
Okay. So you may need a strap here. I'll just demonstrate the pose first. So the pose we're working into is we're going to bring up our one foot. I'll show you first. I'm going to grab hold of it. I'm going to keep my shoulders nice and equal. Keep my balance. Lift up and I'm going to slowly work myself all the way down to the floor. Make sure the shoulders are nice and equal. And then slowly working myself all the way up. All right. So if your balance is not good, you come back to a wall where you're about so far away from the wall and you can lean back onto the wall. You can still work with it, but you've got that space to lean back onto the wall if your balance is really bad. So you've got your strap. Let's start with the right side. Right foot is coming up. You're going to place your strap around that right foot. You're going to place your hand behind to hold that foot up. So you want to really get that knee in. You want to really open up a little bit more. If you can hold your foot, that's great. But just make sure that you're not like this holding the foot. You've got to be nice and straight. So the shoulders must be equal if you're holding that foot. All right. Make sure the bottom foot is also straight. So it's really turned forward and it's, it's parallel to the sides of the mat. From there, if you need a block in front of you to touch the floor, please place a block in front of you. So remember, left leg straight, left arm is up. Lengthen out of this body, lift up tall, and then slowly hinge at the hips to work yourself forward. Slowly working yourself forward down to the floor. I'm just gonna watch how you're doing. Use whatever you need to to try and work into it. And do it slowly, do it mindfully at your time, at your space. There's no rush. Don't get irritated with yourself. <laughs> nice deep breaths. If you need to bend your knee going down or bend your knee coming up, it's absolutely fine. You don't want to overexert your body and hurt yourself in any way. Once you've done one side, please work to the other side. So this is a great pose as it's developed ankles, you develop your ankles and helps with relieving stiffness in the shoulders and also prevents, I mean, prevents cramps in the calves. Just a little bit of information about it. Those are two things that it does for you. So once you've done both sides, make sure you're working nicely with both sides that knee is nicely bent out. You're holding it nice and tight. All right. When you're done there, we're going to slowly start coming back and working down to the floor. So you're going to come down to the floor, you're going to stretch your legs out in front of you. I'm just watching time. Oh, we literally got 10 minutes left. So it's like, what shall we do? What shall we do? All right. Okay. The thoughts, the decisions. Let's go into Anantanasana. So I want you to come to the front of your mat. So you can line your body up in line with uh, parallel to the front. Stretch your arm out as far as you can. 
and try and get yourself engaged exactly in a perfect line with it. Now, I find a lot of you put your arm out and your arms like this. I want your arm perfectly in line with the body. Straight legs, straight everything. Find your straightness. A great way to also do it is to take a block and place a block behind your back because then you can feel if you're straight. So you place a block behind and you can feel if your body when your body's straight. It's a great way to engage. Flex into the feet. Have your belt close by. Sorry, just to get my belt. Have your close belt close by. You may need it in front of you. All right. Once you're there, you're going to push down onto that elbow and you're going to keep it there to bring your hand up and place your hand underneath the head. If you have a big hole, gaping hole here, you can place something in there, but just make sure that you keep aligned because I find now what happens is everybody goes like this and leans forward. So you really need to keep the nice straightness of the body. You need to keep lifting up and holding that straightness and flexing into the feet. You've got a block behind you to make sure you're not falling over. Once you've got that, you're going to take up your top leg. You're going to bring it in. You can use your strap or place your hand inside, hold onto that foot. And then with control, slowly, don't just go for it. Lift up that leg. Keep pushing forward. I can feel the block behind me so I know that I can't move back and I can't move forward. And work into it. This is a lot of core. You're to keep pushing the hips forward to keep yourself aligned. Go to where you can go to and extend, push into the heel. The heel is a stability there. So the more I push into my heel, the straight I can get. The block is holding me. I can feel the back, so I can't lean back. And I can stretch as much as I can. Hold it. Nice core exercise. Nice balance exercise. Hips are pushing forward. And we hold. Make sure you're not lying back in any way. Slowly control, bringing that knee in, foot in to the perineum, and then stretching out. Okay, let's work to the other side. So work over to the other side. I'm gonna bring my block width. I'm gonna stretch my arms out. If you need your strap, you've got your strap. Flex into the feet. Get your block behind you. This is a great way because I'm not there to be able to see you. So I can, the block will keep you aligned. Okay, make sure that arm is straight. Make sure that feet, those feet are flexed. Stretch into that arm. Now keep your elbow down. Bring that hand up. So you nicely stretch. If you've got a little space yet, okay, just make sure that you're not extending it's nice to put something under there because then you can feel that skin stretch remember everything's about the skin that we're doing today now slowly you know bring up your top leg you'll see i've got to keep it i'm wobbly wobbly grab hold of the foot or with a strap or whatever you need and then slowly control if i don't do slowly i'm going to wipe holding lifting up you can see i'm wobbling Lifting up, holding. If I can, I try and work to my heel. Oh, and a wibble wobble. And hold. Big stretch. Oh, it's a muddy. And slowly start to bend your knee and place down that leg. My block never fell. All right, and up you come. Okay, so you're gonna face yourself stretching your legs forward. We're gonna work into the same thing we did standing up. So Ada, Bada, Pashimutasana. So just make sure you're sitting on your sitting bones, legs straight. And have your strap close by. You're going to take up, get nice and comfy, sorry. Take up your right foot. I want you to bring that right foot right up. If you can, opening up that knee. 
lifting it nice and tall. So if you've got a nice long strap, this will work. If you don't, well, and if you can touch your feet, that's also great. But otherwise, you take the strap, you're going to place it around that right foot. You're going to take it around the back. And if you can, oopsie daisy, if you can, get it right around that front leg. Great way to sit. Okay, so that's how I want you to be able to be into it. You don't necessarily need it, you might just need it around your back. And then you're going to hold that strap. So right knees bent, right arm behind. Obviously, some of you might be able to touch that foot. That's great. Okay, I'll just do it around the foot so you can see what I'm doing. And then you're going to start to lean yourself forward. So same left leg straight, left arm straight, and extend forward. Bring that shoulder forward and lengthen, working down to the pose. So this is exactly what we did standing up. Working yourself forward and stretching. Shoulder square and then lengthen. All the way out. And stretch. Just hold it and breathe. Feel how the skin stretches. Feel what it's going to feel like, what it feels like on this side, and when we change to the other side, the difference in the two. And slowly up you come, releasing that foot, placing it out. Let's go to the other side. So left leg's going to come up, place it in, release it down. If you're using your strap, you can place your strap around that little right, I mean left foot, around the back, holding onto that strap, flexing your right leg, lifting up tall, inhale up, exhale working forward. Bringing forward that shoulder, shoulders nice and square, and extending. Stretch and lengthen. Hold and breathe. And slowly up you come, releasing that strap. Lovely, both legs forward. Bend your knees. We're going to pull Vajrasana, but with the knees bent. Okay, hands facing in, lifting up. Just have a good stretch there. And slowly coming down, push your hips towards your heels. Come down to the elbows, come down to the floor. Once you're all the way down, you can take your feet to the edges of the mat. Arms behind your head or out to the side, wherever's more comfortable. Drop your knees to the right side. Right foot onto the left knee. Turn your head over to the left. Very zen of me to kill a body. And place down your right foot, bring them up, drop them to the left side, left foot, right knee. Turn your head over to the right. Place back down your left, release, bring your knees to your chest, give them a nice hug. Have a little rock. Let's go into a nice happy baby. Have a good stretch, whatever direction you want to stretch, stretch it out. And let's get ready for relaxing. So placing your feet to the edge of the mat, knees, I mean palms up. Just close your eyes and surrender.
to wiggle your toes, rub your thumbs over your fingertips, turn your head from side to side, take your arms and stretch them over your head, have a good yawn and a good stretch. Slowly bring your knees to your chest and roll over to your side with your head cradled in your arms. As I said at the beginning of the class, the most beautiful thing you can wear is your confidence. Confidence is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And slowly come to a seated position. May there be peace to the north, peace to the south, peace to the east, peace to the west, peace above, peace below, peace within and peace without, and most importantly, peace with you and your family. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Joe.